Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to create smart previews in Lightroom. And you're going to use smart previews, which are a smaller version of your original raw files, to send for editing and culling orders. And it's really easy to do. So first off, you want to be in Lightroom in the library module, and you want to know where the images are that you'd like to import into Lightroom. We're going to import them into Lightroom to create the smart previews. And I have on my backup drive here, demo wedding, and there's a raw folder with my raw images. So you want to be sure wherever they are in your computer, you know where that is. In order to import, you can come over here to edit, I'm sorry, to file and import photos and videos, or you can use this shortcut here, or you can just simply click on the import button here. Okay, and so this is the panel where you're going to find your images, and I know mine are on Passport K, demo, open that, click on the raw folder, and you'll see up here the add is highlighted. We're going to add these to Lightroom. Now, they're all checked. You can uncheck them all and simply manually check the ones you want to import, or if you just want to take out a few, you can just uncheck the button and they won't be imported. So with all of them checked, I'm going to come over here to how we, um, the file handling panel, and we want to be sure build smart previews is checked. So Lightroom will import and then create that smaller copy. So just come down here and click import. And the import will take a little bit and then creating smart previews will be a little bit of a wait time, not terribly long, but I'm going to pause the video while that happens. We'll see here, building smart preview. We'll be right back. Okay, so the smart previews were created and Lightroom is going to give you a message telling you um, that smart previews were built or already exist for 176 photos. And I like to know that number and also know the number of images that I intended for Lightroom to create smart previews and import, just to be sure we're all on the same page. So I always like to keep this up. All right, so then we're going to export the catalog. So we can come down here to export. We can also, I think it's easy to come over here and click on export as catalog. And where were you? Where are you going to put these? I'm going to put them in the same folder where my raw files were. Um, and down here, this is going to give you options on how you'd like things to export. We want to build or include smart previews. They were already built, um, so we're just going to move them over and then include any available smart previews. Here, I will just uh, call this the demo. Oops. <laughs> this will be the demo catalog. And now Lightroom is going to work on that. It's going to export the catalog and previews. I'm going to pause the recording just for a moment. Okay, so my catalog has exported to the folder, <clears throat> excuse me, on my backup drive. I'm going to go down here. So on my backup drive, my demo wedding, my raw files, and then this is what I exported. This is what Lightroom created for me. And in here are our presets and our smart previews. This is what you're going to deliver to for placing your culling or editing order. And we need you to make a zip folder from this catalog, and that's very easy to do. Simply click, send to, compressed zip folder, and that will run along. I'm going to pause the video just for a moment. Okay, and the zip folder is created. So this is what you will upload to Dropbox when you place your order. Check out the next video to see how to place an order for calling and editing.